Welcome back everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is the second video in our series how to use mid-journey commands and it will be focused on text weights. Text weights are inputs that you attach to your text prompt that allow you to communicate with mid-journey the relative importance of different segments within your prompt. They can be quite effective but also counterintuitive at times. In preparation for this video, I've generated an insane amount of images using these text weights and I'm going to share my findings with you in this video. The way that you incorporate text weights within your prompt is by adding a double colon, so colon colon, after a word phrase. You then need to follow these columns with an input, similar to what we did in my previous stylized command tutorial. The inputs for weighting vary from minus 10,000 to 10,000. However, most people who use mid-journey tend to vary these from minus 1 to 1 or minus 10 to 10, minus 100 to 100. It's really not that important because with weights, what you need to understand is that the weights are relative to other weights within your text prompt and thus are not absolute. So let us demonstrate with our first example. In our first example, we're going to be experimenting with a crystal ball, similar to what the gypsy fortune tellers are portrayed to use in movies. And inside of it, we want to see the universe. To demonstrate how weights give you control over an image's composition, I'm going to run the following three combinations of text weights. Firstly, the columns that you see over here act as separators and the weights impact the entire phrase between these different separators. What this means is that here, the 10 does not only impact bow or crystal bow, but puts a weight of 10 on the entire phrase inside of a crystal bow, so always be careful and keep that in mind as you're using text weights. In our first image, I will add a weight of 1 to universe, and a weight of 10 to inside of a crystal bow. And since these text weights are relative, this would tell Midjourney that I wanted to focus more on delivering a crystal bow and that it's more important for me than the universe part of the prompt. In our second image, we have universe 10, so we have swapped their places, and crystal bow 1. And with this prompt, we are telling Midjourney that the universe is 10 times more important to us than inside of a crystal bowl. Finally, we build on our second prompt and go with universe 100 and inside of a crystal bowl 1, adding even more importance to the universe and less importance to inside of the crystal bowl. I'm going to run these now and let's look at the results. Here we have our three resulting grids and the respective text and image prompts below each. At first glance, we can already see how effective the text weights have been in impacting our resulting composition. Starting on the left, where we placed more importance on inside of a crystal bow and less importance on the universe, I think we have managed to communicate our text prompt intentions to Midjourney quite well, it seems. We have our crystal bow with some variations of the universe trapped inside of the bow. Notice how the universe is well contained within the details and outline of the crystal bow, and again, this is because we placed more weight, relatively speaking, on inside of a crystal bow, so Midjourney has prioritized that. In comparison, our second grid image where we had reversed the text weights compared to our first one already displays a significant change in composition. The universe is still present inside the form of a crystal bow, but the crystal bow is not obvious as a standalone object anymore. Rather, it's only a somewhat vague depiction of it. The universe is breaking out of the crystal bow confines and it's starting to impact the entire composition as the background is not plain anymore, but instead is creating a universe-inspired environment. I think these two examples depict well how text weights impact image composition. Finally, our third grid was a result of universe text weight 100 relative to 1 for crystal bow, and the crystal bow seems to have completely disappeared from the composition. We can see some circular inspired depictions, but we wouldn't know it was a crystal bow without seeing the text prompt. With the universe taking such a high relative text weight, 
the entire image is an environment of a different world in our universe and largely ignores the second part of our text prompt, which was Crystal Bow. Following these results, I hope you can already see how text weights can be used to control our compositions. Let us move to our second example. Okay, so if you want to communicate with Midjourney that you don't want it to include certain characteristics in an image, you can use negative weights. For this example, I wanted to work with colors, so I asked Midjourney to imagine RGB. This was my text prompt, which is basically just red, green, and blue colors combined to produce the color spectrum, similar to what you would find in Photoshop's color wheel. During testing, the images I received had a lot of black color in them, and I wanted to remove that or at least reduce it from the results as I wanted to be left only with the brighter colors in the RGB spectrum. For this purpose, I included black in my text prompt and I added to it a text weight of minus 1 and minus 5 and I also added 10 to RGB. This communicates to Midjourney that I wanted to not include the color black. An important rule to remember when using negative weights is that the sum of text weights included should be greater than or equal to zero, otherwise you get an error back. Here are the results. Starting from the left, where I ran the text prompt RGB only, it produced a decent result but it had too much color missing here and here as it was all covered in black. To try and remove that, I reran the prompt adding to it black with a text weight of minus one, and that seemed to significantly improve the results although the black color was still not fully removed. We can see that the big chunk of color missing here and here was now almost gone and we obtained a much better result. It was definitely a step in the right direction. Given the decent results in image 2, I rerun the exact same prompt but changed black's weight even lower to minus 5 and that completely changed the image results. I tried this several times with different prompts and compositions, but when I increased the negative weight too much, it always seemed to include other ideas that I did not explicitly ask for. It's almost like Midjourney is not able to recognize what we're trying to create anymore because there's such a crucial part of it missing that it tries to improvise and introduce different things. That led me to the following observations. These observations are based on the current behavior of Midjourney as of 9th September 2022 and may change in the future, but for now, weights tend to work better for adding or highlighting rather than removing. Adding works better because Midjourney finds it easy to merge two images when you have all the necessary reference images. As we saw from the Universe and Crystal Bow example, positive weights are a fantastic tool for controlling your composition and how much of certain things are featured in your image result. When removing, however, Midjourney struggles with omitting certain features as it has to remove a crucial part of them and is forced to reimagine from scratch due to the lack of reference images. One such negative weight example I tried early on was removing colors from the rainbow, and that produced me with the following results. A rainbow has seven colors, and removing one of them confuses Midjourney as it forces it to find very niche reference images to compensate for not being able to create a normal rainbow and thus coming up with weird and different results like these. Following up on that logic, if you were working on an image and Midjourney presented you with two not necessarily related objects, in other words they can exist independently, I believe negative weights could work well in that instance. These would be cases like removing rocks from a beach scene, rocks are separate to the beach and their beach is without rocks, so Midjourney could be able to figure that out. This would also explain why we were unable to completely remove the black color from our RGB images as black is a crucial color in the RGB spectrum. In such cases, stick to low relative weights, for example, 10 to minus 1. This would assist in minimizing their presence in the final image. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we'll be looking at using seed phrases in the next episode. See you in the next one.